These Comp Cams XER Stage 3 camshafts are for 96 to 04 Cobras and Mach 1s or 07 to 12 GT500s that have superchargers or nitrous. The Stage 3 cams are for the guys out there that are doing it big with their builds. These cams give a large power gain with the support of a larger throttle body, mass air, injectors and exhaust upgrades, and of course, a tune. And Comp really does say that these require a lower gear and specific valve springs, which will add to the overall price of these. Install will get a 3 out of 3 wrenches on the overall scale of difficulty, and I'll have a little bit more on that later in the video. Before we really get into these cams and talk more about them, I really have to get home the fact that these are stage 3 cams, so you get power gains and that coveted rough idle, but these really are specifically for supercharged or nitrous builds. A lot of technical things come into play when you're looking at cams and specs, so if you add these without a blower or nitrous, you're gonna end up with a car that doesn't run right and doesn't make the power that it should. So disclaimer out of the way, let's take a look at these things. One of the first things to say about these cams is that they have a huge power band. You're looking at an RPM range of 2,000 to 6,400, which means that these things make the most power right in that RPM range. That's great news for the types of build that these cams are for, superchargers and nitrous. And in those upper RPMs where the cams aren't as efficient, you have your power adders making that big power for you. And the fact that these give you gains in the lower RPMs too means that you don't have to rev the car to the moon and back to have the benefits of cams. That makes these a good option for cars that see street time, too. So it's a pretty functional all-around cam for those blower and nitrous cars for the street or track time. So how are cams beneficial? Like I said, it can get pretty technical, but in the most basic sense of things, the camshaft lobes on a performance cam are shaped differently, and that actually helps the engine to be more powerful. What it does is change the valve lift or the valve timing. Changing lift lets more air into the valve, and changing timing changes when the valves open and close, which has an impact on the effective compression ratio and the power output. What all of this means at the end of the day is that you're optimizing airflow with the camshafts, and that it's very important to get the right camshaft for your build. If you don't, you can actually hurt performance instead of help it. You want to consider specs like the lift and the duration of the camshaft, since that's what's going to tell you how your valves will be opening and closing. Com tells us that the specs for these cams are as follows. 116 degrees of lobe separation, a 238 and 240 duration at 50 degrees of lift, and an intake lift of 475 thousandths, an exhaust lift of 45 hundredths. So you have a bigger lift than the stock cams, which will allow more air into the cylinders and more duration too, which means more power. And because you are changing so much with your lift and duration, Comp does say that you will need to upgrade to their Beehive spring to support the added lift. And if you're thinking of not doing this, the only thing I'll say is that you've already gone so far with your build. You're already doing the cams, and you already have your supporting mods, so why not do it right? It would stink to do all of this work and then have issues with your valve springs down the road, and worst case, drop a valve and lose the engine. And when it comes to power numbers, those are going to be difficult to nail down specifically because of the difference in mods, power adders, boost levels, and your supporting mods. Differences in tunes will also cause changes in power between cars, so it's really hard to say specifically. The other thing that comes into play here, besides power gains, is that wonderful sound of cams. Everyone loves that big, lopy idle, and these cams certainly deliver on that. Comp Cams calls out a rough idle as one of the big features here, so you won't be disappointed there. When it comes to price, you can expect to pay close to $1,300 for this setup. Now keep in mind that these are Stage 3 cams, and they require other modifications to work properly, like those valve springs and retainers, and other supporting mods too, like a tune for instance. These cams are serious, and they're gonna come with big benefits with the right setup. That being said, serious parts usually cost serious cash, and that's the same thing here. When it comes to the install, you guys might be able to imagine a cam swap is gonna be a fair amount of work. Gonna call it a three out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter, you can plan on spending anywhere from a half a day to a full day in the garage, depending on your expertise and experience. Let's just say that you need your whole toolbox for this one, and I would get some new cam bolts for the install, so think about those. If you're planning on doing this one yourself, a manual with the torque specs would be a great place to start. You'll need to remove the intake manifold, valve covers, crank pulley, front engine cover, and timing chains, just to name a few things before getting started with the actual swap. If this is something that you're not up to speed on, you might want to leave this one up to your local shop, and don't forget about those other supporting mods that you're going to need to install with these cams. That's going to wrap things up for the Comp Cams XER Supercharged or Nitrous Stage 3 camshafts. 
for the 96-04 Cobra and Mach 1 and the 07-12 GT500. But as always, you can check them out more online right here at americamuscle.com.